Welcome to another parent teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And welcome to lesson 22, number writing 0 to 99. Uh, materials, you will uh, of course need a pencil and uh, three printables from the early gifted manual. The first is the uh, 0 to 99 number grid filled in and the 0 to 99 number grid that is blank and make a, a few of those uh, copies maybe three or four. And um, also handwriting paper. And I don't think I need to show you what that looks like anymore, so uh, I won't. <laughs> All right. Um, as a prerequisite to this activity, uh, your child should be able to easily write the numbers up to 20. So once uh, he or she can do that, uh, you're, you're ready to take this on. Um, Let's, well, let's do the actual lesson here. Uh, the first, it's actually, there's three parts uh, to this process. The first part is uh, to have your child copy the 0 to 99 number grid by rows. In other words, starting at 0, moving like this uh, through consecutive numbers all the way up to 99. And of course, uh, you can model that activity. You can... Uh, get her started. And by the way, uh, um, you know, I'd like to personally copy like this, but your child might want, might want uh, this sheet up on top, or if he's right-handed, he might want it over here. So uh, I'll leave that up to you to, to uh, work that out. So like I said, the first step is to have uh, him or her copy it. Um, and of course, you model to start out with. And you keep going, and when you get to 9 here, 10, all the way down, copying numbers 0 to 99. And the next step will be, uh, once your, your child is, is pretty good at that, um, have her copy uh, the 0 to 99 number grids by columns. And you might say, well, you know, why should I do this? Well, it's, it really uh, reinforces what's going on here on the number grid. Uh, he will be able to see that uh, as he goes down, the numbers will increase by 10. And, and that's kind of a powerful thing that, that will help him to become a master of this number grid. So let me move this out of the way. So it will look like this. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, and all the way down to ninety, and then uh, he will come back up here and start with this column. One, eleven, twenty-one, and of course uh, he will do that uh, working this way with the columns all the way down to ninety-nine. And finally, once uh, your child can do that, um, you can uh, let him or her take on the blank 0 to 99 number grid with no numbers to look at. And, um, you know, he may tell you when he's ready for that, or you may just decide to, uh, you know, if he's a little bit sheepish or, or, or not feeling confident yet, uh, you could hold off for a while. but. Uh, 
uh, or you could uh, work work through work uh, through it with him, giving him help. But you're taking away the the copying uh, the the zero to ninety nine number grid from which he can copy, and now he's faced with the ultimate. <laughs> I, I shouldn't use the word terror, the ultimate challenge for a child, a blank uh, sheet of paper, in this case with boxes in it. And of course, uh, you know, he may be able to do the whole thing and that would be a great uh, um, accomplishment. And it may take, of course, some time for him to do that. And of course, you can help him along uh, any way that he needs to be uh, assisted. All right. So that's uh, copying, and uh, I think the last thing I want to mention in this lesson is uh, you can also do the dictation exercise on handwriting paper. And if you remember, uh, we did that up to the number uh, up to the number twenty, zero to twenty, back in lesson seventeen. So you can review that and. Um, Dictate some numbers and see uh, if your child can write them. Of course, they'll be all mixed up, so that will increase the challenge. Check his, uh, his handwriting and his spacing, and I think uh, that's a, a good thing uh, to do with your child once in a while, to make sure that he really, really knows uh, his numbers 0 to 100 and can write them. And that's lesson 22. Number writing, zero to 99. So after reviewing this video, I wanted to add this. And what you see here is a large version of the zero to 99 uh, number grid that we uh, worked, uh, that we just worked with. And um, this is a great idea to do something like this. I've had mine laminated and I've used it in my classrooms for many years. Um, let me give you an idea of the scale. There's my hand. So as you can see, it's a pretty big uh, chart. And it's a great thing to have because uh, you could post this on the wall at your child's eye level and he or she can always have access to uh, the number grid uh, whenever they need it or if they just want to look at it and, uh, and absorb uh, the information in it. It's always there for them posted on the wall. So I hope you will consider making something like this. And I just uh, used a, a large sheet of, of graph paper with, uh, with one inch squares to make this. So it's up to you, but it's a great, uh, great addition to your, uh, your uh, teaching tools.